Hello and welcome back to UCCX Administration and Scripting course. My name is Anas. I'm a Senior Collaboration Engineer with CCI Certification. In the last session, we have covered UCCX Script Editor tool and we have familiarized the Audacity tool, which is an open source audio editing software. We have created a couple of prompts and uploaded the same to the UCCX. And we have implemented the menu scripting IVR and we have tested the working of the same. In today's session, we are going to familiarize with the if condition and the increment technique that we can use on the integer variable. For that, we will be using a script which is similar to the previous one so that, you know, it will be easier for you to understand the concepts. Here on the right hand side, what you're seeing is the script that we are going to implement in this session. After the start step, the call is accepted by the script. Then the next line is the label, which we'll be utilizing here in the go to statement. And then we will be entering into the menu step where we have options like sales, technical support, billing, repeat, timeout, and unsuccessful. So I have configured press one for sales and then uh, press two for technical support and press three for billing. And if you want to repeat the message, press nine. And finally, it will be entering into the timeout session if the user did not enter any input in a given period of time. And then it will be going for unsuccessful in case if the user is entering a wrong value, which is other than the defined values for sales, technical support, billing or repeat. The area that we are going to be concentrating more in this session is going to be the timeout section where we are using the if condition and the increment statement as well. For increment statement, we are using a variable named as count, which is nothing but a integer type variable with default value as zero. Now let's look at the flow of this script in detail. So after the script accepts the call here in the accept step, the control will be moved to the menu step where the user will be hearing the welcome prompt. Uh, it goes like uh, press one for sales, press two for technical support, press three for billing and uh, press nine for repeat. So assuming that the user is not giving us any input in the given time period, so it will be entering the timeout section where we will be playing a prompt to the user that no entry is received. And in the next step, we have the if statement where the program checks or the script checks whether the count value, the value of the count variable is equal to two. In this case, since the initial value of the count variable is zero, here it will be entering to a false statement where we will be playing out a prompt to the user to try again. And next step, we will be incrementing the value of the count variable by one. And then the control is moved to the go to statement where the control of the program is moved to the retry label. Retry is defined above the menu step where now the control of the script is moved to the retry label. And again, the script will be playing the welcome prompt to the user. Uh, user will be hearing press one for sales, press two for technical support, press three for billing and uh, to repeat the message press nine. And assuming that the user did not press any input, it will be again entering into the timeout section where the if condition will be again checking the value of the count variable. And in the second iteration, the count variable value is one since it has incremented by one. Again, this is a false statement. So it will enter into the false section of the if condition where it will be playing a prompt uh, to the user asking to try again. And then again, it will be incrementing the count variable by one. And then it will execute the go to statement where the control will be moved to the retry label. So it will reach the retry label again and the user will be hearing the welcome prompt for one more time. Assuming that the user did not give us a valid input, it will again go back to the timeout section where it will be playing the prompt informing the user that no entry is received. And then it will go to the if statement where it will be checking the count value is equal to two. In this case, it is true because the count value 
was incremented from 1 to 2 right so here it is a true statement and it will enter into the true section where it will be playing the prompt informing the user that the number of tries is exceeded and then the control of the script will come out of the menu section and it will be landing to the play prompt outside of the menu section and it will be playing another prompt called by prompt and then it will be terminating the section now let's implement the same here in the uccx script editor and uh, after implementing it we will be uploading the same to the uccx and we will uh, test the working as well so here uh, i have already defined all the variables so uh, defining the variables is already covered in the last session the only uh, thing that we did not cover in the last session is the count variable this is nothing but a, a variable which is of type integer you can select the type of the variable here i am selecting the integer variable and uh, name i am giving the count and value i am keeping it zero click ok we will go to contact expand it we will select the accept statement and we will drag it there we'll also select this terminate one now we will go to media and we'll select menu and put it on top of the accept we'll expand it and we'll click on properties and prompt we will select the welcome prompt maximum retries we will make it zero and filter we will add sales technical support and uh, billing okay now we will add repeat now for sales press one for technical support press two for billing press three to repeat press nine we'll click apply we'll click ok now we have all the labels here now we will use the prompt option here on the sales i'll copy the same and i'll paste it easy method to do it for timeout we will give play prompt for unsuccessful we will give the play prompt on the play prompt we will click properties and uh, on the prompt tab we will select sales apply ok now on technical support click on properties prompt we will select technical support technical support representative gsr click apply ok now for billing properties we'll go to prompt tab we'll select billing executive apply ok now for repeat we will select the welcome prompt itself apply ok now for timeout we will play a prompt properties play no entry received apply ok now we will go to the general tab and we will select the if statement we'll put it below the play prompt and here if you expand it you will see a true and a false and under true we will again input a play prompt and under false also we will use a play prompt we will we will define the condition in the first place here properties condition so what i'm going to do is i'll i'll give the condition like if count equal to equal to 2 apply if it is equal to 2 then play a prompt if equal to 2 tries exceeded 
apply okay now if it is not equal to 2 then play a prompt try again so try again we will select the try again apply okay now after playing the prompt we will have to increment the count we will select the increment option we will put it below the play prompt and click on properties the variable is going to be the count variable apply okay after incrementing the variable we will have to move the control of the script to the menu step right so what we will do is we will introduce a label just before the menu and we will mark it as label 0 itself apply ok and uh, we will use a go to statement after the increment and we will point the label 0 apply ok after incrementing the count by 1 it will go to the label 0 label 0 which is defined just above the menu step right so the control of the script will be moved to level 0 now again it will be executing the menu step where all the prompts will be played again to the user and assuming that the user did not enter any input again it will be reaching to the timeouts uh, step and it will be again checking for the count variable value whether it is true or not right it will be checking that if it is true then uh, we will be playing a prompt to the user saying that the tries the number of tries is exceeded now after that it will be the control will be moved to the terminate stage we will use another prompt here we will use a by prompt here prompt select by apply ok now for unsuccessful we will use invalid entry apply ok now let's validate the script here tools validate script validation is succeeded we will save it file save as we will name it as if condition one and we will save it now we will upload the same to the uccx logging in i'll use the app admin login applications script management upload scripts browse if condition one open upload now return to script management we will see if condition one here uploaded successfully now let's go to application management we will use the same application and we will be selecting if condition one and we'll hit update now the script is updated we will Test the working of the same. We'll dial the number. Hello and thank you for calling ABC Company. If you already know the extension you wish to reach, you may enter it at any time. Otherwise, please listen to the following menu. For sales, press 1. For technical support, press 2. For billing, press 3. To repeat this message, press 9. No entry received. Try again. Hello and thank you for calling ABC Company. If you already know the extension you wish to reach, you may enter it at any time. Otherwise, please listen to the following menu. For sales, press 1. For technical support, press 2. For billing, press 3. To repeat this message, press 9. No entry received. Try again. Hello and thank you for calling ABC Company. 
If you already know the extension you wish to reach, you may enter it at any time. Otherwise, please listen to the following menu. For sales, press 1. For technical support, press 2. For billing, press 3. To repeat this message, press 9. No entry received. Sorry, you have exceeded the number of tries. Please hang up and try your call again. Thank you for calling. Bye-bye. Now, as you can see, the call is terminated there. Now, let's look at the script again. Because we did not enter any input, the script entered into the timeout section and it was playing no entry received. And then it was checking for the count variable. Uh, in the first iteration, because it was false, it entered into the false statement where it played the prompt try again. Then it incremented the count and it went to the label zero, which is defined on top of uh, menu step. Again, it go for the IVR prompt. So it will continue the iteration as long as the count equal to two. When the count is equal to two, it entered into the true section where it will play the prompt try succeeded. And then it will come out of the menu uh, step and it will be playing by prompt. And then finally the script will be terminated and entered. That's all about today's video. We have familiarized the if condition and how we can use that in a menu script. And we also have familiarized with the increment technique where we can increment the integer variable. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the session. Stay tuned for more UCCX scripting videos.